What's going on guys? Today, another beautiful spring day. Take a look. No clouds in the sky. You're probably gonna see the sun, it's super bright. But today, we got me, Mark Ashby of Grill Mark Co. We got the queen of Q right here. She can't see, she's squinting. And we got this amazing pit barrel smoker. This thing pumps out some of the best barbecue that we can make. And today, we're gonna be doing something so simple, so easy. We're gonna be making a poppy seed chicken casserole just in time for the warmer weather. Let's get started. The ingredients for this recipe is so simple. You're gonna need some chicken breasts, which we're using some Springer chicken breasts. They're like antibiotic, hormone-free, organic fed, all that stuff. You're gonna need some better than bouillon, roasted chicken flavor. You're gonna need two Cosmo Q rubs, Dirty Bird and the best beer can chicken. You're gonna need a roll of Ritz crackers, okay? Some uh, cream of chicken soup, you can use any kind. I chose Campbell's. We're gonna need some sour cream, poppy seeds, and of course, one stick of butter. And we're gonna be using our KitchenAid mixer, and we're gonna fire up the top part of the hot box, and we're gonna uh, roast the crackers on there uh, in a pot that we got as well. Really simple. You know, I wanted to try some uh, premium chicken, thinking, hey, this is gonna be really good. It's a little bit more expensive. They're individually wrapped. These things are like, look, it's like as big as my palm of my hand. I think we got scammed here, but that's okay. We're gonna throw these on the pit barrel first. Your pit barrel likes to run at right about 275 when you have both bars in, which we do. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit it with some of our Dirty Bird rub and put that as a base layer on both sides. Make sure you get both sides and get an even coating across. Next, the best beer can chicken. And this, we're just gonna kinda hit a light layer on top. Just a little bit, enough flavor to cover it, flip it, do it on the other side as well. The first thing we wanna do is get our chicken on the smoker. We're bringing it up to an internal temperature of about 155 to 165. Should take about 30 minutes on the smoker. The reason we want it in that range is because we are going to be shredding it and throwing it back on the smoker to cook the casserole. So, we've got these bad Larry's cooked up. Let's head outside. Gotta take the lid off. We got that clear blue smoke that we're always... You wanna take just a little bit of olive oil or spray, just so that there's some non-stick in there. Look at that beautiful smoke coming up. Awesome. All right, we got a lot in there. So now, I don't think these are gonna take 30 minutes just because they're so small. I think it's gonna take fairly quick, actually. But, we're gonna cook them again until they're done. Just like that, there is no pattern to it. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure they're all touching. And here's the best part. Closing this thing up, it does all the work for you. If you're uh, looking, you're not cooking. So don't check it unless you're checking the temperature. Just let it sit. While the chicken's cooking, it's a great idea to go ahead and get started on toasting your crackers. So we got a full roll of Ritz crackers and a full stick of Blue Bonnet butter. What you have to do first is take the crackers and get them nice and crumbled. You wanna crumble all the way around and you also wanna turn your uh, hot box up to a medium high heat. Just somewhere in that range right there is perfect. If you have a gas range, that's good too. We have electric here. And again, just get it to a nice fine crumble. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all good either way. Now. And it's all 
smashed up into a fine powder, we pour it into the bowl. Hot. We got our butter. I got it at about room temperature here. We take it and we're gonna put it right on top and we're gonna let that melt. We got a spatula just in case we need to chop it up, anything like that. We're gonna mix this together until all that butter's gone and those crackers have a nice buttery taste to them. So we've melted the butter and we've kind of toasted it a little bit. We're gonna let this sit to the side and uh, this will be our topping on the casserole. It's gonna be really good. Now we're just waiting on that chicken to cook. We'll see you back here when that chicken's done and then we'll shred it up. It's been about 15 minutes. We're going to check the temperature here. Those look perfect. Check those out. We'll step over here and get our food thermometer. Now again, we were hoping for 155 to 165, anywhere in that range. You can see that screen there, it's a little hard to see. 151, three, four, five, perfect. So, what we're going to do is take it right off onto our disposable cutting board, like so. And we're gonna dump these right on, or right in, to the mixing bowl and that's how we're gonna shred this chicken very, very fast. You can see here though, look at that, it's still super moist. It's gonna be great. We'll see you back in the kitchen in just a second. We've got our KitchenAid mixture here, have this for a while. We're going to just, like I said, just slide it in there like that. Very easy. We got a wide spade paddle on there, okay? And I'm gonna lift it up. And we're just gonna let it sit. And you can see inside, steam's coming out, but that chicken is shredding beautifully. It smells really good too. So, we turn it up a little bit. I'm gonna shred it down just a little bit more. Then we're gonna mix everything together, throw it back on the smoker for about 30 more minutes. Boom, shredded, simple, very minimal cleanup. All we gotta do is pop this in the dishwasher when we're done. But we're gonna step over here, and we're gonna mix it with sour cream, our better than bouillon, our poppy seeds, and our cream of chicken. First thing, cream of chicken, right on top, one whole can. Next, this is a 16 ounce of sour cream. Same thing, whole thing goes right in there. Third, put the poppy seeds in, just kind of sprinkle a layer on top like this. And if you're wondering, don't take a drug test after this. Actually, I don't know if that's true or not. Probably not. You know, poppy seeds, opioids, I don't think that's true. Last step, better than bouillon roasted chicken. I know we just smoked the chicken, but this will really enhance the flavor. Now we're gonna take our spoon and just literally Mix it in like so. And I guess if you wanted to, you could use your mixer. It's not necessary. Boy, that smells really good. Until you get this nice consistency throughout. Just like that. Very, very simple. Two more steps. Get you a casserole dish. Literally just dump it all in there. Make sure you get all of it and spread it around. The buttery Ritz crackers, they sat, got a little crumble crisp to them here. And this is gonna be our topic, sorry. There we go. Literally one whole pack. And again, spread it around until it covers pretty much every bit of the casserole. Now, we've done all that. We're going to step outside again, put this on the smoker and let it bake or smoke for about another 20 to 25 minutes. And during that time, you have all that time to clean all this up. Should be really simple. Let's step outside. 
Now, I don't think the uh, queen of key over there too excited about me using our casserole dish inside the smoker, but there we go, just like so. We will see you in about 20, 25 minutes. You want it bubbling on the sides just a little bit. That's how you know it's done. But we're just adding some heat, getting it hot, and uh, adding that smoke flavor to it. 20, 25 minutes, something like that. We'll see you back here shortly. It's been about 30 minutes. Like our 25, you see it bubbling on the sides. Perfect. So, very careful. Well, you know what? We're done with it today. So, we're going to take this inside, and now we're going to let it sit for about 10 minutes, let it rest, give it a little time to cool off, and then we're going to dive in. Here is the final product. Look at that. You got beautiful color. Everything's crispy on top. Chicken, beautiful. So instead of just getting a plate, we're just gonna dive right in. Look at that. A lot of creaminess. Got some crackers on there. That's a good looking bite right there. So now the taste test. This is so good. Super creamy with the cream and chicken and the sour cream. Great roasted flavor, some smoke flavor. Of course, Cosmo Q elevates that flavor to a whole nother level. I'm gonna grab another bite. This is really, really good. Mm. Mm. This will make you wanna slap harder than Will Smith. This is good. This recipe came to me from my mom, and um, of course, as always, moms are the best cook. This thing came out amazing. And casseroles are kind of a summer thing, a southern thing, you know, but it's got good, beautiful presentation on it. This could even be a dip. I don't really care. I mean, it's fantastic. If you wanted to add some spice to it, throw some hot sauce in there. All in all, amazing dish. Super simple to try. Try it on your own, add some smoke as a flavor. Make sure you eat good, you do good. We'll see you next time.